I'm Claire from Creative The Otter Way. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! in the UK. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you giving me some of your time. Hopefully you will go away with a bit of a wow card that you're really excited to share and gift. So today's make is using some of the new um, celebration items. Well, the paper. So we're going to be using some of this standard design 12 by 12 paper. It's such a bargain. You get 48 sheets and you can earn them free. So of course being Stampin' Up! it's all double sided. But there's so many different colours in there. I mean you can see I've dipped in and out of mine quite a lot. Um, and we're going to make two, well we're making a card with it. But I'll show you the two versions. So let me show you. Um, so this is what we're going to make. Very unassuming card. It uses the Easter Bunny set and the new mini. Um, love the bunny. I've coloured mine with some stamping blends. I've used um, crumb cake, light and dark. Um, if there's time, I will go through with you how I did, did that. Um, but it opens up, so it's got a belly band around it, slightly thicker than I would normally do. I would usually do an inch, but this is one and a half inch. Um, but when you open it up, da, 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 look, look at that. So we are making a pop-up frame card. So it's got like an acetate panel inside. Um, and this is actually an Easter card. But just to show you that the Easter Bunny set is not for Easter, we're going to make a, a new baby card as well. So I've used loads of elements from the stamp set. I've used um, this bunny here that I've stamped and fussy cut. Uh, this bunny is the one that's on the front, on the belly band. And that actually you can punch out with the punch that's available. So that's super handy. The butterfly, I've used that there. And the Easter eggs there, I've stamped three lots of those. Now his carrot is also from the stamp set there. And I've just cut into the paper and sort of tucked it behind his hands. Um, but yeah, so this pop-up frame card is not my idea. I actually saw it on um, Karis Creative Club on Instagram. Um, they were doing a blog hop and honestly, if you like this card, go and have a look at all the different people that have joined in with that. Um, I'm not sure if they're all demonstrators, but quite a lot of them are. And there's some really good variations. But this is such a lovely make. I had to give it a go. Um, I don't know the sizes that she used originally, but this is going to fit into a standard um, UK envelope. So... I've probably resized it slightly on what her version. Um, so what will you need? You'll need a stamp set um, that you love. You would need some designer series paper and what else have I used? Oh, I've used some of these um, stylish shapes dies. Let me check that is what they're called. Yeah, wow, I actually got it right. Stylish shapes dies. There's another one that goes in there that I used over there we've used the smaller bit on the front and I've used two of these as well so if you've got some layered circles you could do similar um, just because I've die cut the circle in the middle and I, I like the way that it looks you will also need a bit of acetate um, now I knew this was going to be an issue because I'm going to put it down and not be able to find it um, it's three quarters of an inch if I put the sizes there that might be helpful three quarters of an inch wide by six and three eighths of an inch long. Now acetate, you can buy acetate or you can use some packaging. So if you've got um, some plastic packaging lying around, you can cut that strip from there because it's not going to do anything other than support your middle circles. So it's not really going to be seen. It's just there for, to aid your decoration. You also need a base card. Um, now I have used the thicker white card from Stampin' Up! just because of the nature of the card. Um, the normal card is a little bit floppy. So I've used this thicker card just so that you can 
get a nice strong base. Um, and you need some designer serious paper. Now I've used two sheets, but use front and back of the sheets. So I don't know if you can see that color is the back of one and that's the front. And then this is another piece um, just for there. So enough waffle. What I would say with this Easter bunny set is it is time heavy in the prep. So I have spent the whole morning prepping lots of bunnies, lots of Easter eggs, um, some carrots, all sorts of things here. Just doing those and then either fussy cutting them or just having them. So pick a time when you can just sit and do a load in one go and then you just store them in your stamp set. And next time you come to make a card, you'll be so glad that you've already done all of the prep. So if I look in mine now, I think there's some more. These ones are cut or uh, stamped already. And I also used the suede colour rather than a black or a navy or and then coloured with my stamping markers and actually it's come out okay. So I don't know if you can see, they look really good. Um, I looked around, thought about doing grey bunnies, all sorts of coloured bunnies and decided to go with a crumb cake. Um, I'm, I quite like the crumb cake, so that's what I used. I'm going to try and use this set to make my baby card. So I think I will use enjoy all the little moments. I'm going to use this bunny with some flowers across the top. Um, I might use the butterfly and the bird. I'm not sure. And then I do want it to say something about new baby or welcome. Or So I've gone back to this stamp set that's got welcome little one. And then while looking for that, I found this one that I've used a little bit, Places in the Heart. Um, and this is a really nice sentiment as well. There are places in your heart you didn't even know exist until you have a child. So actually, I quite like that. So I might put that on there as well. But most of the stuff is going to be using this Easter bunny set, even though it's not an Easter card. So stop waffling, Claire. Let's do our base card and then we can do all the exciting decoration. So I've got my paper trimmer four sheet and I'm going to cut the base card at four and one eighth now remember this is UK size so you might want to adjust this if you're in America or wherever you are in the world but this is a nice size card so four and one eighth and I just cut the whole length of the A4 okay then I turn it sideways and I'm cutting it at 11 and 3 quarters. So 11 and 3 quarters. Oh, that is 11 and 3 quarters, so that's even better. And I am scoring it at a half. So I'm going to score it at a half. There, make sure that cutting blade is out of the way. And then 5 and 7 eighths. Okay, so then what should happen is you fold that in half and that gives you your base card. Now, if you really don't like that fine little edge there, you can trim that off. It's entirely up to you. Um, just so that you've got a perfectly sized card. Let me put this out of the way. So I'm just going to get the other piece. So that's my card base and then the other piece that I cut off I need to cut this at four and one eighth which it should be yep four and one eighth by seven and three eighths so you've got your base opening and front piece there and now we're cutting off the inside panel so four and one eighth by seven and three eighths Enough room here. Seven and three eighths. Cut that bit off. Now that you can use to do some stamping on or whatever you want. And then I need to score at either end at one and three eighths. So 
there's one and three eighths on this side. Okay, and now I'm going to turn it round and do one and three eighths on this side. And remember to score and not cut. So let's move that out of the way. While you're there, actually, you could cut off a belly band strip that is one and a half inches by the length of your A4 as well. So you've got three pieces. You've got this piece here as your belly band. You've got this piece that's been scored at either end and that's your inside. And then you've got your outside piece of your card as well. So three pieces, okay? Now the piece that's got this score line at the top and bottom, you're gonna need to die cut something out of here. So depending on what card you're making, if you were making um, a wedding card or a Valentine's card, you could die cut a heart. If you're um, doing something a little bit different, you can do a square. Or for me, I'm going to do a circle in the middle and you're just doing it by eye actually, just die cutting that. So I will just do that. Bear with me. Okay, so that bit has been die cut out and this is one of the layered circles. Now the size that I've done, it's a three inch circle that I've used on there and that's just, you could use one of the stitched dies actually and that would give you a nice stitch edging round. I didn't think of that, it's one of those three inches. Um, well that's, no it's not three inches but it's just slightly bigger. Well, you'd either go with the bigger one, which would give you three inches, actually. Yeah, next time I'll remember and I'll use that one because it would be really nice to have some detail around the outside. Um, so I used the layered circles one this time. So let's move that. You don't need that. You could use that on the front of your card. You keep it as a spare somewhere, um, but you don't need it at the moment. And this bit folds back there and folds back there so that ends up like that if I bring my base card back in this score line at the front of your card gets folded over and basically that is going to fit onto there like so and that will give you your panel so before we do that we're going to decorate so you need some different designer series paper. So I'm going to put the sizes there and talk you through them. We've got a few different pieces. And remember, I'm doing a baby card this time. So I've gone with some pinks. I've got a piece for the belly band strip. That is four inches by one and three eighths. I have got um, a piece for the front and the back. And I've gone for this pattern. So this is the front, so let's stick that on, shall we? Now, I decided to do mine in two panels. So one piece there and one piece there, so that when the card is opened and closed and opened and closed, it doesn't leave a nasty edge. It just looks nice. Um, your belly band's gonna cover that up anyway. So I am just gonna glue that on. I really like the other side as well, so we're going to use the other side on the inside. So this piece is one and three eighth by fours. Oh, there's a lot of glue on there, isn't there? That's a new glue. So that's just going to go in there. And this, how I've worked out the size is it's one of an one eighth smaller, so that it gives a nice frame around the card. And this piece is four and a quarter by four. So I'm just going to glue that in place. Okay, and make sure you've got that the right way round before we stick it down. Okay, so that's the front done. Really simple card to decorate but looks real wow on the inside. So a perfect card that I love, love wows on the inside. So they just get it and they're unassuming with it. Oh, that's really kind, you've made me a card. And then they go, wow. Well, in my mind they do anyway, because <laughs> I know that's what I do. 
So pop-up frame card, so that is the inside. Let me go back to the inside. So we're gonna put a piece of uh, designer series paper on here. Okay, so that's just a standard size. That is four inches by five and three quarters. And I'm just making sure that I am doing the right colour that way round. Because I don't want it to look the same as the front. I want it to be a bit of a wow. So I'm going to make sure I put glue on the dotty side because the front of my card has got dots on. So it still colour coordinates. Remember we're using Stampin' Up! products and their coordination is second to none. Honestly, it makes your life so easy because everything coordinates from the ribbon to the paper to the inks all of it even the embellishments so there you go that's the back now or the base of the card now we're going to put this piece on um, this piece is going to be quite patterned but it's going to be hidden by that so it needs to be quite a bold print so that it will stand out now this one is four inches by four and one eighth, so there's really not a lot in it. I'm just going to make sure I've got that the right way around. And again, I'm going with the pattern that's really bold because I really want it to stand out behind my panel. I can see this style of card coming in so useful because it really is a wow. Like if it's a special birthday or you really want to shout about something that you're celebrating with somebody. Perfect. So that's that. So let's have a look what we've done so far. So we've got the front, we've got the inside and the in back of the panel. Okay, I think that's it. We're ready to put this bit on. So. We've already folded it over. We're gonna stick the, t the glue at the top. So this is the same size either end. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. Just gonna put glue on that panel. And there's just a couple of tips when you're putting it together. So I find it easier to put that, let's move that so it's not confusing, to put that side down so the glue is up and then I bring this panel to it. Now I'm using Tombow glue, so this allows me to have a bit of wiggle room. So I press it on, fold it back, and I just wanna make sure that the panel is behind my card. So it doesn't stick out at the edge, it just goes behind, so that that's stuck already. Okay. So that when I fold that down, it folds nice and clear, which it hasn't. Okay, that's fine, we can sort that. So mine's sticking out slightly more than I wanted it to, it set too quickly. So what I'm going to do is trim a little bit off of this because the most important thing you want is that the card folds flat. So, and no one's going to see this bit. So this is why we need to get it right now. Now I'm just going to cut a sliver off. Not too much. In fact, probably an eighth of an inch. Let's have a look. That will go like that. Perfect. Okay. So nobody knows that it didn't go flat before. Okay. So now what you're going to do is put some glue on this panel. Okay. So just be careful when you're doing that. Bit. Make sure you do it this way round. That is going to go there because that is how you want your card to be. And then before it sets, you're just going to lay it down flat and just confirm where you want it to be. And then press that down. 
give the glue a moment or two to dry and then lift it up and that's your panel okay Ta -da! how lovely is that already <coughs> oh I've got a tickle okay so now we get to the decorating bit so let's have a look what did we need we need this piece here of our acetate remember that this is three quarters of an inch by six and three eighths now what i need that to do is go in that piece so i've scored it on either end at one inch and i'm just going to fold that over like so so you end up with that and before i glue anything i'm just going to put it inside and just hold it in place with my fingers and make sure that it fits okay so it's not really long it's not um, too too long so if I put it on the end so you can see I'm making sure that it fits on there and there so this bit the bit that's um, folded over the one inch bit you're going to put some double-sided tape or glue on there and that's going to stick to the base and this bit's going to stick to the top but if you use this inch as your guide so that that is right at the back okay and then it sort of comes just past halfway except for you're doing it in the middle now i've tried to do this before i've put the front panel on and then i couldn't get it lined up in the middle so i do it afterwards and yes it is a bit of a faff but faffing is okay Okay, so I'm using Tombow glue again so it gives me a bit of a movement and I'll put that in there like so and I'm going to wait till I've got my acetate in the middle and I'm going to glue one bit so I make sure that the acetate is in the centre lined up so this is really rubbish to see on the video isn't it let me do it so i've made sure that it's right at the back there i don't know if you can see that there so i've made sure it's right at the back the acetate is touching top and bottom the back wall of here and then while it's there I'm looking to make sure it's in the middle of my circle and I'm just making sure it's glued and then I'm going to press it down flat again and just press top and bottom and just have a chat amongst yourselves while it glues. Okay. So now I've got an acetate bar going through the middle of my frame and I can see it. Ta-da! Okay, so that's that bit. Now, I've die cut some circles and on my original card I layered them up. So what I did was put one behind the acetate and one in front of the acetate. And that seemed to work really well. So I'm gonna do that again, but I'm gonna stamp on there first. So what was the little sentiment that we had from this set? It was, welcome little one. Um, let's see, let's hope that fits now. Where's it going to fit? Oh, that is going to be tight. Do you think we can do it? I'm going to use, I don't know actually, whether to use soft suede because that's the outline of the rabbit or this lovely fresh freesia. Let's try fresh freesia. I'm a little bit worried it won't stand out so much. But let's have a go. So I've just got that. And I'm just going to try and line that up as best I can. Just like so. Oh, what? <laughs> the best is yet to come. Oh my goodness me. That is not the sentiment we wanted. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, let's find the right one. It was... 
enjoy all the little moments. Now that was the Easter Bunny one. Where is the welcome little one? There. Look, not even used it before. Let's see if we can get it out. Okay, that's definitely going to fit. Right. Luckily, card has two sides. So we can go for it again. Okay, welcome little one. That's definitely what we want. In Oh, actually, should we have a look now? Do we think Fresh Freezer is going to stand out? Yeah, actually, I think it is. Okay. So this definitely says, welcome little one. So let's see if we can do it. Yeah, that's nice, actually. Really nice. Dun, dun, dun. Right, let's move that out of the way. Let's bring this back over. So what I need to do on the back of this is put some double-sided tape or some Tombow glue. I'm going to put some double-sided tape just because I know that it needs to be in the middle. So welcome, little one. Just going to put that like that. And peel it off. Okay, and that will just stick to the acetate, just like that, so it looks like it's floating, okay? Now the big circle doesn't have anything on it, so I'm going to put a bit of double-sided tape in the middle, just a little bit because I don't need it the whole size of the circle. I'm going to line that up with the acetate, like so, and that's that floating. Now what I quite like is to maybe use the gap in between to put some sprigs. So you know the punch that Stampin' Up! do with the little sprigs? I might go and stamp some of that afterwards just to give that a bit more detail. But at the moment, I'm going to leave it like that. Now, where do we put all our bunny bits? So let's bring those over. Remember that we're doing a baby card this time. So I'm going to go with this one, just because I think that looks like it's welcoming the little baby. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on the edge of the rabbit there because I don't want it to stick up anymore because I need it to post. And I'm just going to stick that around there. So I've only put glue where the circle is going to be. And then there's this little thing here. It's like a little sprig of flowers that actually I think looks really pretty. So I'm going to put some glue on there. And again, I coloured these with stamping blends. Gonna go like so. Dun. So that's more or less the inside of my card. Because once I add those sprigs as well, that's gonna lift that. So here, do I want to put something there? So I've got a few odd shapes here, so that could I could put a nice, that nice sentiment that says there are places in your heart you didn't even know. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this is one of the dies from another set. Right, it's really important that I get this right, isn't it? There are, yeah, that looks right. And I'm going to stamp that again in... Fresh freezer. Um, we'll try really hard to get that in the middle. And I'm stamping it before I stuck it, just in case it didn't. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's going to go on there. Oh, the time. I've been talking so much. Okay, let's whiz on. So that bit's going to go there and that allows me to put my personal message as well. So that's that bit of the card, the belly band, and then we are done. So there is a belly band. I put it on, I want it to go 
hide the crease really. So I start off there so that I know one bit is going to have a nice edge and then I just wrap it round to there. That's not such a nice edge. So that bit's going to go underneath. So I'm going to put some glue on there and then some glue on this edge so that I can line it up. So I line up this bit here and then I move this under piece until it's lined and then press it down. Okay, like so. Now this I cut already and it was one and three eighths by four inches. So that's going to go on the front of there. And it's the other side so it really sticks out. Okay, just put some glue on there. Just like that. And then which rabbit should we have? Maybe have this one this time. Because that's one of the other rabbits. And a little bit more floral. Mm, not sure. Maybe she could hold a carrot. Oh, I don't know. I think I'd prefer that on her. Right, where's the sentiment? So, the sentiment that we're going to have on the front is which one? Enjoy all the little moments. That's what it was, wasn't it? Right, that's definitely in the Easter Bunny set because our aim was to use the Easter Bunny set. Is that going to fit on there? Let's hope. If we're nearly there. Then we can have our ta-da moment. Okay, so that is going to go because it is important to enjoy the little moments yeah that's nice that's going to go oh we could have a little um, butterfly on the front like we did the other one ok so that's going to go over there enjoy the little moments our little rabbit is going to go on there I think I might put the butterfly on did we have another butterfly? Or had I not cut it? Yeah, I think she will go there. Oh look, I've stamped it and not cut it. Let's quickly, quickly do that. So the thing with fussy cutting is to move the paper and not your scissors. Okay. And not try and do it really speedily. <laughs> okay. That one. Yeah. So put a little dot on her nose. Oh, what there. Oh, now. Now I'm thinking there. Let's put her there. So the butterfly's going to go there. Just to add to that. I think we're there. Ta-da! Okay, let's move all these bits out of the way. Bring the other one back in. Little happy bunny there. So we've got our Easter card here with our belly band. And it's using the Easter bunny stamp set to do all the decoration. Okay. I'll just leave that in there. And then we've got a new baby card. Enjoy all the little moments. Like so. And then inside it's got the right sentiment saying welcome little one and about the places in your heart as well. So the same stamp set but two different cards. Which one's your favourite? Oh, we made it. Ta-da! Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, um, especially my mistake of stamping the wrong thing. Don't we all just do that? Um, if you're in the UK and you'd like to shop some of the pro products from Stampin' Up, they are all really great. You can find me at creativelyottaway.co.uk and for more inspiration or ideas, find me on Instagram or on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Bye.